In this video we're going to show you how to access the three different setting screens for the multi-gauge and also showing you how to change the screen layout on the two completely configurable screens. So the first step is the system setup menu. You move the switch on the hand controller down to set and press and hold the record button. As you see we're in the system setup menu. You use the center button to navigate down if you'd like to change a setting hold the record button quickly and either the uh, peak or dim can change the setting. So next up, if you want to get out of this menu, move the switch on the hand controller back up to play and it takes you back. Now we're going to the warning setup screen. Again, switch down to set, press the record button just quickly as opposed to holding, you're in the warning setup menu. And you can navigate down using the record button. If you'd like to make changes to a setting, again, once you're finished in here, back up to play. The third and last configuration is display setup, which is uh, the buttons on the, the screen itself. Press both at the same time. Set will navigate down. If you'd like to change a setting, press select. To exit this, Press both buttons at the same time. Okay, now we'll move on to changing the uh, screen layouts. Okay, the next step is we're going to show you how to change the screen layouts uh, on the gauge itself. So if there's certain sensors or readouts not displaying uh, with the default uh, layouts, we'll show you how to change them to what you would like, along with uh, some different styles that uh, they can be uh, displayed as. So the first thing to know is there's four selectable screen layouts on the gauge itself. The first one you can see on the screen now is the one that will uh, load when you initially install the gauge. This is called Street Screen. Uh, now to change between them, you use the select button on the gauge itself. So as I said, we're on Street Screen. This is gauge one. This is gauge two. And this is Time Attack. Uh, in the manual they will be uh, named like this, uh, so when you see the references to Street, Gauge 1, Gauge 2 and Time Attack, that's uh, what those references are for. So let's go back uh, to the Street screen. Now the other thing to note is both the Street screen and the Time Attack screen can only have the top uh, cells changed. So the readouts that are on there currently, Boost and EGT, they are the only ones that can be changed but gauge 1 and gauge 2 can have every readout changed and the styles as well. Um, we'll go back to time attack, again the same as street, only the taco can be changed on this, uh, on this one. So what we might do now is navigate uh, to gauge 1 and show you how to change the readouts. So to enter the screen layout configuration, the first step is to move the switch down to the set position once again and press the peak and dim button at the same time. This now enters in screen layout configuration mode. Now we have six cells in total here on the screen. To navigate between the cell that you would like to change, you use the peak button. As you can see, this is navigating between the six cells. Now, if we'd like to just change one of the cells, the first thing we do is move to the cell that we'd like to be at. So we're going to make a change to the boost. You press the record button, which enters the mode to physically change that cell. And you can use either the peak or dim button to navigate between which, which you would like to appear on the screen. So for this, we'll just change this to oil temp. Once you press record, uh, that cell has now been changed. And you can navigate to the next cell that you might like to make a change to. The next thing is the size or layout style. So what you can also do um, is make the top row a single readout instead of two, which when you press the dim button, this, when on the selected cell, will change between styles. So if you notice that it goes across the entire screen now, when you hit the record button, this changes the style to a big readout across the top. So it's now the same process where you can navigate with the peak and dim to which you would prefer and hit record to set. Um, now the next thing is there is for the temperature readouts so this would be for oil temp, water temp, IAT and transmission temp. If you'd like a graph style display basically the same process which is you navigate to top and 
when you see this, this is actually going to be the graph style. So you press record and there you go, IAT is now uh, a graph style. So that's the three different uh, style of readout uh, displays that you can have, um, so bear with me. So as you can see there now, um, we've got a nice graph reading for IAT, we've got air fuel and, and the others. So it is possible to do this, if you bear with me. Um, okay, so we're gonna change this back uh, to a single readout like that. Now you can do this. You can have two large readouts, two small readouts down the bottom. Um, as you saw before, you can also have a, uh, bear with me. You can do this. Um, you can also do this. Uh, and that just gives you an idea of the, the different ways that you can lay out the screens. So we'll just go back up and change this back like this. And that gives you an idea how, how you can actually just change the, the screen layouts. Uh, now, once you've actually changed the layout um, and you've got it configured the way that you would like, all you need to do is move the switch back up to play. And that configuration is now saved. So now we've explained how to change the screen layout on Gauge 1 and Gauge 2. As I mentioned earlier, Gauge 2 is also completely configurable. You can change everything on there. Um, it's just the time attack and uh, Street 1 screens that can only have the, uh, the top two cells changed. Now, we do have two versions of this product. Uh, the version 2.5 was released in January of 2021. The version 2 is the, the same process for doing this. Uh, some people, the, the, the layouts, uh, the default layouts when you first purchase the product um, on the version 2 were different to what you're seeing on the screen here. The uh, version 2.5, we, we arranged some of the sensors uh, better uh, for, for customers that we thought. Uh, so the best way to identify uh, the time attack, gauge 1, uh, gauge 2 and uh, street screens is like this. The odometer uh, and trip will only ever display on the street screen and on the time attack screen best time and time will be down there. So as long as you don't see time or odometer you know that you're on either gauge 1 or gauge 2 and they're completely configurable. So this pretty much concludes uh, the video for getting into the three different configuration menus and uh, changing the screen layout. Throughout the video we've made references to the pages of the manual that uh, you can look up uh, for the, the different settings um, or, or the procedure we just showed you. So along with the video and the manual um, that should pretty much get you sorted and if there's any questions obviously give us a call, email, Facebook at any time.